Durag Nation, while we were waiting for this beautiful Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay reveal, it's beautiful. there were a lot of leaks, as well as fan theories pretending to be leaks about the game. So now that we have the gameplay demo and all this news, I think it's worth reviewing who turned out to be correct, because so far there were definitely a few that came true. So hit the like button, and if you aren't satisfied by the end, change it to a dislike. I first have to start off with the GOAT himself, Jeff Grubb, who was not only right about everything, he gave us Spider-Man 2 fans hope during that information drought. Just like he said what happened months ago, we got a brand new PlayStation showcase featuring Spider-Man 2 gameplay, and he even got the timing of the showcase right. Now, when it comes to the details about the game in terms of story and characters, some people nailed it as well. One of the leaks named Yuri Watanabe as one of the game's villains after she transforms fully into Wraith. This was confirmed at the beginning of the gameplay demo during the Craven section. Speaking of Craven, there does seem to be some truth to the leak about the connection between Craven Hunter and Norman Osborn. According to the leak, Norman hires Craven to help bring in Spider Man because he's literally wearing the sample that could prevent Harry from dying. Craven loves to hunt for fun, but he is mainly a mercenary, and based on the amount of tech his team is throwing around, he's gotta have Oscorp bankrolling him. Even though he's shown with a holographic map at the beginning, Beginning, what we saw six months later with robotic dogs, attack helicopters, and drones is a huge difference in scale. The Hunter drones especially are a big hint that Oscorp is involved. This seems to be a throwback to the 2002 Spider-Man movie tie-in game where Norman sent special drones called HKs to track and capture Peter. We also know from the demo Peter is trying to catch the lizard in order to save Harry, which tells us that's where he likely got the symbiote since that's what Norman was using to keep Harry alive. Based on a demo, it seems Harry never transformed, which according to the leak is how this plays out with Eddie Brock eventually becoming Venom. It would seem Norman hired the hunters to get Connors and the symbiote back and Craven agreed because he wanted to hunt strong enemies anyway. Insomniac also straight up confirmed several of my own theories, but some of these made players really angry. Check that out in the next video.